All right, Todd's back on this Tuesday, which will be better than Monday. A lot so, better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's still a little windy out there, and yes, it's getting colder, but we get sunshine back. Not too bad. Let's recap a little bit. First of all, very windy conditions along the coastline. We had some gusts over 60 miles per hour, New Harbor and also in Cape Elizabeth. Castine almost gusted to 60. At the Jetport 54, you go to inland, it wasn't that windy. We had a gust in Bangor of 37 miles per hour. Inland story, the snow. Orono, Bangor picked up a few inches. Portland just a coating that got washed away. But Wyndham, a few miles inland, half a foot of snow. Naples, nine inches. East Baldwin, nine inches. Acton, nine and a half. So finally, that was some good news, getting snow in places we want it, up in ski mobile country and also in ski country too. A few flurries out there showing up on radar seem to be fizzling right now. There will be some ongoing mountain snow showers, but they'll dry up this morning too. Temps are dipping right now with all that water yesterday and the wet snow. Watch out. There is a lot of black ice along the coastline and numerous slippery spots inland too as these numbers start to slip below 32. They feel like they're below 32 with that gusty wind out of the northwest. Look at the wind chills up in the mountains. Single digits right now. Now there is cloud cover at the moment, but with this northwest flow, a dry direction, will dry those clouds up and get sunshine as this high works in. Another clipper system on the map, so that's moisture starved, but I do expect some snow showers to fall during the day tomorrow with some minor accumulation, and I actually made a map for you. I'll show you that in a second. Lingering clouds and flurries, the bigger story, a lot of black ice, tough walking around, stay on your toes, if you know what I mean. Uh, there'll be some frozen slush inland and some snowy spots too, so the commute's not perfect. Midday, we're back to a lot of sunshine, but temperatures begin to slide. The wind will be active, so you know that's going to make it feel colder. And it also may blow around some snow that got a lot of powder yesterday, which was up in the foothills and mountains. It was wetter snow closer to the coastline as you got out of the foothills. Clear this evening, temperatures drop quick as that wind settles. We'll be in the single digits overnight, down to around zero across the interior too. Tomorrow, Clipper races in. Here's the warm front. We've got a period of light snow falling during the middle of the day and snow showers and flurries to the south. Following that, actually looks pretty quiet for Thursday and Friday. The front settles offshore, but here comes another Arctic blast. Really cold temperatures moving in on Friday and for Saturday too. We're going to have to watch an area of low pressure form along that front that brings in the Arctic air for us. There are some indications that it could come up the coastline and give us some snow late Saturday and Saturday night. A lot of them, though, keep it pretty far offshore, avoiding us. So we'll keep a close eye on it. There could be a storm system here over the weekend. This is for tomorrow, though. I expect a couple of inches up across the northern half of the state. Bangor probably gets about an inch right along Route 2. Coatings for Lewiston and Augusta. And there may be a dusting down to the coastline. I don't think there's anything down for Seacoast New Hampshire other than some flurries. But that may make roads a little slick during the day tomorrow, so we'll see. Marine forecast, the seas are still cranking out there, so is the wind. So not good yet to be on the water. A lot of sunshine, breezy temperatures in the 25 to 30 degree range. They'll fall this afternoon, though. Light snow and flurries expected tomorrow, maybe a coating to an inch. Clearing out on Thursday, bitterly cold again Friday into Saturday. Sunday could have some flurries along with that storm Saturday night. Um, so that's the next big threat, Lee, Saturday night with that storm system. It's still kind of 50-50 or maybe even less than that. Maybe it's more like 30-70 that right. we get it. Well, we'll certainly be keeping an eye on it. Yeah. So thank you, sir. Appreciate it.